Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting video today. I'm in my comfy clothes. Like, I'm ready to put in the work to organize this situation. So, you guys know if you watched my studio apartment tour that one, I moved. Two, I now have a walk-in closet, which is amazing. The thing is, I didn't really take the time to organize my closet when I moved in uh, four weeks ago. Oh my god, I kind of just threw everything in my closet just to get it up off the floor so I could focus on other aspects of my place. So nothing in here is really color coordinated. It's not decluttered. So we're going to do that together. I'm going to declutter my closet with you dolls. I'm going to show you how I organize my closet, rearrange the current setup. So with that being said, <laughs> let me bust it down for you guys and show you my hot mess of a closet. Your girl has a closet light. It's blessed. We can see everything. We can see all the lint on our clothes. It's amazing. So one thing I do want to mention before I show you dolls a peek inside of my closet right now, the before, is my favorite app. Today's vlog is sponsored by my friends over at Poshmark. I love Poshmark so much. For those of you guys that know, you know that I love to get rid of things. I like to put them on rotation. I don't feel like I need to hold on to every little thing in my life. If I'm not using it, if I'm not loving it, chances are someone else can show up much more appreciation than I can. So Poshmark is a place where I love to list accessories and clothing items that don't fit me anymore, things that aren't my style anymore, things that I haven't reached for in a while. My thing is if I haven't thought about it, haven't touched it, or tried it on in a season, then it's gotta go. Like it serves no purpose in my life. So I'm gonna pull up my Poshmark right now because I sell stuff on there all of the time. It's my favorite app to use. It's so simple to sell and buy clothes. So if you wanna get a really good deal on something, definitely check out Poshmark. My closet name is at Kayla underscore Lachey underscore. And I have lots of really fun things listed. Currently I have about 10 items or so. Shoes, accessories, clothing pieces. I've sold things from Michael Kors. Fashion Nova, we got some awesome denim, we even got some fry boots, so really good designer pieces that are great quality if you want to ball on a budget. I've sold Steve Madden stuff, key sunglasses, Fenty Puma slides that are exclusive because you can't get those on the market anymore, and just tons of bags, lots of Rebecca Minkoff, just things I wasn't using on the regular Schmegular. We've got the North Face on here, so if it's marked as sold, Obviously that item is no longer available to purchase, so if you see something that you like, uh, get it before it's gone because someone else will take it from you. Right now on my closet, I do have these two beautiful watches, which I'm thinking I'm going to take them off my Poshmark because looking at them now, like I love them. I don't know why I listed them. They're so beautiful. I do wear an Apple Watch and maybe that's probably my thinking is, oh, I don't need a dressy watch because I have my Apple Watch, but these are so pretty mixed metals. I just... I feel like I should hold on to them. I'm just recently starting to get back into accessorizing. I'm wearing earrings again now, so this could be something fun to add on that list to accessorize, but they are available on my Poshmark as of right now if you want to get them. That's up to you. Springtime is here, so I've got these really pretty nude wedges that are a little too small for me. These are new with the tags and they're beautiful with like a sundress or a cute matching like floral set, something like that for like a day date or just like a day outing these would be so perfect for but like i said they're a little bit too tiny in the toe box but other than that i would say that they fit true to size these are us size nine i've also got some denim because denim is my favorite thing you guys will see in my closet tour i have a lot of denim going on so this is really big for me and this is supposed to fit high-waisted so this is a us size six and it has really cool distressing on it. I would go get it tailored, but I just can't be bothered to do that. I just love the wash of this denim. I think this is so perfect for spring and summertime. So if it weren't for the size and the fit of this, obviously I would keep it, but I'm hoping someone else can use it. I've never worn it. So if you want it, go get it. Also more denim. I have this really pretty pair of Zara jeans. Again, these are a little bit too big for me. These I wouldn't say are super high-waisted. I would say they are a mid-rise. I describe everything on my Poshmark closet, but I love all of the detail that it has to offer. Again, with the wash of this, I love for the spring. There's like some paint splattered bits on here. It's super distressed on the legs, and I love the back because look at this pocket here. It's just all about the details. I love these pants so much with like a plain white t-shirt. This is everything. And like your Nike Air Forces, 
is such a look so again if this fit me like i would wear these all of the time but i'm hoping someone else will love them and use them more than i have and another item which you guys will see i have several of my own in my wardrobe are these one piece onesies which are my favorite to lounge around the house and i'll edit in these i'll run and walk my dog in these at nighttime. i'll go to my friends houses in my onesies we'll have little like onesie get togethers they're so fun and comfy this is a little bit too big again on the post on my poshmark you'll be able to see the description of the fit of this if you're taller than me this would be ideal for you to snatch i love these plus they come with a hood so definitely check that out i just recently sold the other one that i had listed so if you want this get it while you can so comment down below with your poshmark username in the comment section below so we can all browse and shop each other's wardrobes i hope you dolls enjoyed seeing the current items that are listed on my shop right now of course i'll be able to add some more items very soon once we do our closet clean out I guess it's only fair to start out with an overview of the current situation. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so this doesn't go all the way back because my jackets are really puffy. I have a lot of bombers and stuff, but that's okay because these are things that I reach for quite often if I want to layer up at nighttime, so I feel like that's a good spot to put them. This whole section right here I know I want to go through and declutter because looking at it doesn't make me happy. It doesn't bring me joy, and those are things that I really don't reach for that often okay so what's great about my wardrobe is yes there's a light in here which is great I could see all of the lint on my black clothing pieces which it is what it is but at least I can see where everything is so it did come with like this built-in organization so I have two rows of hanging sections on this side of the wall then there's another row of hanging clothing and then there's all of these like built-in shelves so i love the shelves they definitely came in handy for all of my bottoms and pants and stuff and then i brought over my shoe organization which i've had for literally seven years it's the exact same one i've had and moved from apartment to apartment but that just holds all of my sneakers and like flat type of shoes and then on top of that I have all of my Ugg boots because those are a little bit more bulky but for the most part I think this is a really nice setup I would like to color coordinate the bulk of my clothing and declutter and get rid of at least five items like that is my goal today is to get rid of five things and I think that's doable and I don't have a ton of clothes I don't want to have a stuffed wardrobe where I feel like there's no room to welcome anything else into it I definitely want to have open space so I would like to you know open up more space to hang other things and like I said just kind of organize stuff because most of this is just hangers you see that I know and a lot of you dolls were telling me that I should switch over to all velvet because it would save me a ton of space which would be an awesome idea so I'm gonna do that and put that on the list of things to do but for right now my priorities are to organize and declutter my current situation I love these shelves and I think this for the most part is pretty much done all of my bags are up here as you know on my Poshmark I've gotten rid of a lot of bags that I don't use or haven't used so these are ones that I reach for all the time as of right now I also have all my black boots over there would love to get rid of at least one pair of black boots because my wardrobe is literally all black boots and I don't know how many pairs uh, one person needs and it's just kind of a mess over there okay yeah we're not gonna think about that or talk about that at this moment and then I've actually organized my denim okay and all of my pants so you can see this right here I've got some skirts stacked up and like dressier shorts and then all of these are my high-waisted denim as you can tell your girl loves high-waisted shorts here I have my trousers and track pants folded up so I think that looks great and then I also have my denim stacked up. So all of these are basically high-waisted blue denim. And then we've got some black and colored denim over there. So I'm happy with these three, four little compartments. I think those look great. But what I don't like is my loungewear. This is a hot mess, okay? These are like t-shirts and like sweats. I don't like how this looks. I need to get rid of some of these things and kind of welcome in new items that aren't so overwashed but I do keep like my onesies down here as well I showed you guys my one piece onesie that's on my Poshmark but these are two that fit me really well that I wear all of the time and I just don't like how everything is just kind of balled up I can't ever see what I have therefore I can't reach for it if I don't know what is here so I'd like to kind of declutter this shelf and make it more 
uh, user friendly. And then down here is where I keep more shoes, like my thigh high boots and stuff um, are right here next to my other shoes. And what's really cool is these like crates. I love to organize like items in bins like this. So this is all my swimwear. I recently decluttered this so I know exactly what it is that I have. And yes, I reach for and wear a lot of these items because I now have a pool and a hot tub here. So that is amazing. I get to kind of wear a new little set every single time I wanna go for a swim. So that just kind of sits here, easy access to pull in and out, which I love. Now what is kind of a hassle is this because everything back here, I can't really reach for or see that often so I put all of my event dresses like super dressy things back here sequin stuff things that aren't really every day so I know for a fact I need to try on all of those and narrow down the ones that fit me well and things that I actually like um, so this for the most part is just like super dressy stuff like faux fur jackets which I do wear a lot here in LA and then my bulkier tops like my sweatshirts which again I wear all of the time so I just want to kind of organize everything color coordinate and get rid of at least a handful of items today that will be oh my gosh the goal I'm out of breath if you have any better suggestions on where I can rearrange these things please feel free to let me know in the comments but for the most part these are my everyday tops that I have and like I said I would like to color coordinate this a little bit better and organize it by sleeve length within the color category so that's what we're working with welcome to my closet and help. <laughs> was literally look at every single item of clothing that I have pull it out from the rack and ask myself okay do I wear it do I like it does it fit when was the last time I even thought about this item those are the questions that go through my mind and that helps me decide whether or not I should keep the item also I pull it out if I'm not sure if it fits me which also tells me that I haven't worn it in a minute so I have a lot of stuff pulled to the side that I need to try on which is very tedious but it's super important when you do a closet clean out like this so I didn't even get a chance to organize this stuff I just pulled out the things and asked myself those questions things that I'm unsure about like oh do I want to keep it do I want to get rid of it chances are you should probably get rid of it so I just don't I don't know, I don't hold sentimental values to certain items in my wardrobe. Now this, this whole section is super informal. 
So that means your girl's gonna have to get naked and try everything on, which is kind of annoying. I don't have a mirror, like a full length mirror in my apartment yet, so I'll have to go buy one of those. So I'm gonna save that for another day because there's literally like 30 items back there that I don't know if it fits me the way that it should. I've also been losing a little bit of weight, so I wanna double check before I just throw things into a pile. But for right now, we've got a really nice size wardrobe now there's also stuff hanging up that i feel like would be better if i folded it and put it on my loungewear little shelf like this i wear this to the gym it's from fabletics so i don't think this needs to be hung up i could open up that space for something else same with this it's the same little hoodie in a different color sometimes just looking at things that aren't so like cute like i don't want to have that hanging up in my closet i'd rather have it folded to the side this i'm not sure how it fits and I'm also sure that I have never worn this, so I want to make sure that it looks good. Same with this beautiful sequin bodysuit. This would be so cute for like a dinner out, like a dinner date with some jeans. This top, I don't really love it, so it's got to go. And I said I wanted to get rid of five things. I think we're on a great pathway. And then this little top, I don't wear. I also believe I have it in a different color which I've never worn these. These are from Fashion Nova. They're just not my style and I don't know what I would wear them with. Maybe jeans, but like, I don't know. So now what I'm gonna do is put these things aside for the try on pile. I have a trash pile and then I have a Poshmark pile. You don't wanna be listing your dingy stuff on Poshmark. Put the nice stuff that you don't wanna wear anymore or that you haven't worn that are in really nice condition on your closet. That way more people will be interested to pick it up. And that's just like a little tip. Like don't be listing like a 10 year old hoodie that you slept in and drooled on, okay? We don't want that. <laughs> My Justin Bieber Purpose merch. I got this from like H&M. I don't even go to the tour, but there's like foundation stains on it. I'm pretty sure I cut it myself. Like this is one of those items that doesn't make me happy anymore to look at. So I'm gonna have to say peace. It's been real. Yo, I love these sweats, but they have gotta go. <laughs> they are so overwashed. I have to let this go too. It's just overwashed. It's not even white anymore. Dogging all day. Get your hoodies today. Ryan Little. <laughs> I think I've got it down the way that I like. I decided to put all the black stuff in the back just to inspire me to wear more colors and neutral tones. So I really like the organization of this so far and I like how everything is organized within each color category based off of styles. So long sleeves and like sweater stuff in the back, short sleeves in the middle and then sleeveless or like tank top style in the front so over here i haven't even touched my evening wear so that's another day another time but i did organize all of my sweatshirts and stuff so i just hung those up since those are for the most part pretty bulky and there's still tons of space to hang things if i want to you know put things on rotation or welcome in new items in my wardrobe 
As for my jackets, this is what I've narrowed everything down to. I do have a winter coat. In LA, I don't need that, but when I go home to the East Coast in the colder seasons, I definitely utilize that, but I have my denim jackets, leather jackets, puffer bomber style jackets here and then just a fuzzy zip up so I think that's really good I got rid of a lot of stuff that was just like random and put them in a much suited space so here I didn't do much didn't touch any of that but I did organize my loungewear so I'm really happy with how this turned out I have my sweats stacked up here just t-shirts and lounge tops and then my one piece onesie over there and just like that our day of organizing our wardrobe is complete you guys I hope this video inspired at least one of the dolls to clean up your wardrobe today and get re-inspired with your wardrobe I feel like sometimes you can shop your own closet and rediscover things that you already have that you fell in love with when you first got them all over again so I think this looks really good like looking at my wardrobe now makes me so excited to get dressed and it makes me want to go somewhere because now I'm like ooh that'd be a really cute outfit <laughs> so if you don't enjoy this video I hope that you guys let me know in the comment section below and of course don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you dolls in my next video very soon <laughs>